Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to share my picks for the top five most comfortable soccer cleats slash football boots out of the box. Now, one of the more common questions that I get asked on a regular basis is what's the most comfortable shoe out there? And the very simple answer to that question is the most comfortable shoe does not exist and will not ever exist. And the reasoning for that is comfort is not an objective thing, it's a subjective thing. It's very much based on personal opinion and personal preference. As an example, if you take a shoe like a Nike Mercurial Vapor 11, which is a very thin upper, super tight fit, doesn't really have much softness to it, it has more of a rigid sensation overall. Somebody who finds that really, really comfortable, or I guess ideal, Somebody else might absolutely hate the way that that shoe feels. You can't really compare something like a Vapor 11 to something like a Copa Mundial when it comes to fit and feel. They're entirely different things that again, it really depends on your own personal preference. Also to say what's the most comfortable shoe, that doesn't really account for the shape of your foot, the width of your foot, that's all something that will factor in into what shoe is going to be most comfortable for you personally. With that being said, and the point of this video is the top five most comfortable boots out of the box, meaning that shoes that are pretty much good to go from brand new, no break in time required, shoes that you could almost wear straight into a game. Not necessarily something that I recommend doing, but I think with a lot of these shoes, you probably could get away with it given that they fit you properly. So without further ado, here are my picks for the top five most comfortable boots straight out of the box. The Puma Evo Power Vigor 1. The reason why I think this is such a comfortable shoe is down to flexibility. The whole point of the Evo Power system is to replicate the natural shooting mechanics and natural flexibility of your foot when striking a ball with no shoes at all. So because of this, they've implemented what's called an Adapt Light Synthetic Upper, which is a one-way stretch microfiber material, allowing the shoe to bend very freely with the natural motion of your foot, either when striking the ball or even when running. It also features a P-back sole plate that has some really good flexibility to it as well, Plus you have to factor in that it now does have a mesh lining the inside of the shoe that has a nice softness to it. So overall, there's almost nothing to break in here. You slide them on your foot and they immediately feel comfortable. No sensation of stiffness, no sensation of rigidity in any way at all, which like I said, makes them good to go from right out of the box. Not only is the Evo Power Vigor 1 really comfortable though, I think the top end Evo Power models, be it the 1, the 1.2 or 1.3, could all kind of fall into this category as well as just being very comfortable shoes out of the box. Not a lot to break in, super, super flexible. That's my reasoning for that particular pick. The Nike Premier, arguably one of the most underrated shoes out there at the moment, is so comfortable out of the box. And I guess this comes with a bit of a disclaimer being that this is a shoe with a leather upper, kangaroo leather to be more specific, in that leather will kind of adapt to the shape of your foot as you wear them in. But with that being said, they're very comfortable out of the box and they'll get more and more comfortable as you wear them in if that makes any sense. That's kind of a normal characteristic for full leather shoes. The leather gets softer, it molds to the shape of your foot, the more and more that you wear them. The Nike Premier though, again, kind of similar to the Evo Power Vigor 1, is just a very flexible shoe. The leather is on the thinner side, but has a very soft, high quality feel to it. And the sole plate, while not overly thick, is nice and flexible. And again, you just get this natural sensation of the shoe moving very nicely and fluently with your foot. So break-in is very, very easy. It also has a really nice suede heel liner that allows for good security in the fit in the heel area so your heel's not sliding around. And as long as you get the right size, like I said, this is a shoe that's gonna be very, very comfortable from the first time that you wear them. The Under Armour Clutch Fit Force 3.0. Now this is probably the most surprising pick in terms of the five shoes that are on this list but it's a shoe that is very, very comfortable out of the box, pretty much no break-in time required. The reasoning for its unique comfort is down to the very interesting synthetic upper that this shoe has. It features a base of a Travella synthetic material that does have a slightly elasticated stretchy quality to it, and that stretchiness is reinforced by the clutch fit pattern that you see on the surface that gives the shoe kind of a unique design in general. Now what you'll find when you put these on and tie the laces tight is that the elasticated quality of the upper is immediately noticeable and that the shoe kind of stretches around your foot but without feeling like it's squeezing or suffocating your feet inside of the shoe. It's just enough stretch and just enough tightness to where you get that nice perfect kind of custom feel 
but from a shoe that doesn't need any break in time. It's gonna have that custom fit from the first time that you put them on, once you tie the laces properly. You also take it to, have to take into account that the upper is very, very flexible and just moves with your foot extremely nicely. The forefoot area of the sole plate also has good flexibility to it. So you're not really gonna have any rigid sensation from this shoe, not to mention that you have these nice grip implementations, kind of like a synthetic suede material in the heel area. So again, your heel is locked in place very, very effectively, and there's pretty much nothing to break in. It's probably the most unique synthetic shoe in that it offers a predetermined molded fit when you actually put them on versus most other shoes that kind of have to adapt to your feet over time. This gives you that customized fit as you tie the laces in real time, which is really, really unique. And really the main reason why the Clutch Fit Force 3.0 is one of the most comfortable shoes out of the box. The Adidas Copa Mundial. Now this is a shoe that I guess like the Nike Premier does have somewhat of a disclaimer and that because it is a natural leather upper, the fit, feel, and general comfort level will change as you wear them in. They'll soften up, they'll stretch to the exact shape of your foot. So if anything, they're only gonna get more comfortable with more wear time. With that being said, out of the box, the Copa Mundial is undeniably one of the most comfortable shoes out there. The quality is fantastic. The shoes are still made in Germany. And when you tie them up for the first time, your foot is immediately surrounded by super soft, high quality leather. I would argue the Copa Mundial is the best quality leather boot out there. Even today with all the modern stuff, I know the Copa has been around for quite some time now, but again, in terms of leather softness and leather quality, the Copa is really, really tough to beat. Um, with that being said, it's a shoe that definitely isn't for everybody. It has its old school quirks to it. It's not gonna have the same type of fit and same responsiveness that you would get from a lot of modern shoes, but it makes up for that in the comfort department. I would say that if you want something that has the soft leather upper, but with a little bit more of a modern feel and style, maybe something like the Nike Premier would be a better option for you. But if you just wanna go pure old school, the Copa Mundial is still a very, very solid option. All I'm gonna say is there's a reason why it's been around for so many years and Adidas is still producing it. The Nike Hypervenom Phantom 3, more specifically the low cut version. And the reason for that is because I think more people, because low cut shoes have been a thing for so long, they're just gonna be more familiar to it. Their feet are gonna be more well adjusted to the feel of a low cut shoe versus a mid cut one. The mid cut version of the Phantom 3, while very comfortable, does require a little bit more of an adjustment period. So again, in terms of out of the box comfort, I think the Phantom 3 low is the way to go. And the reason why I picked this particular shoe is because I think it's the best example so far of how comfortable and how natural a knitted upper can be. Now, obviously with Nike, when they first introduced their fly knit boots, be it the Superfly 4 or the Nike Magista Obra, those were shoes that yes, very, very good, and yes, very comfortable after some break-in time, they definitely had their quirks in terms of out-of-the-box comfort. They took some getting used to, they weren't the most comfortable in the heel area, and there really is no denying that. Have they improved? Absolutely. I think mid-cut shoes like the Superfly 5, Obra 2, and Phantom 3 DF are all a lot more comfortable out of the box. But again, the Phantom 3 Low with its normal heel construction just fits very securely, and the new fly knit upper on the Phantom 3 in general is so natural on your foot. The whole point of making knitted uppers was to provide a sock-like feel, and I think that the Phantom 3 does that better than any other knitted shoe out there, be it from Nike or any other brand. What I like about it is that it's soft, it's flexible, you have the flywire cables attached to the lacing system, and when you tie the laces, it definitely does put tension on those flywire cables, add structure to the upper without taking flexibility away. It doesn't have any kind of stiffness to it. The sole plate is nice and flexible as well. So you really get a natural sensation when the shoe is on your foot. To me, I know people like the mid cut thing because it's supposed to allow for a more connected feel to the shoe where it flows from your foot onto your leg. But to me, in order to have the best connected sensation to a piece of footwear, you want it to be as comfortable and as fluent in terms of how it moves with your foot as possible. And I think that the Phantom 3 Low is a great example of how good knitted uppers can be. And it definitely makes me look forward to what we're gonna see in the future from Nike as well as other brands with knitted materials as this technology evolves. All right guys, so that is it for the top five most comfortable boots out of the box. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Uh, if you do have any questions or even any opinions of your own in terms of shoes that you've tried that you thought were particularly comfortable, 
from brand new, let me know down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer any of your questions as well. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.